Hey everybody, Tony Dempsey here. Hey, y'all are y'all are gonna start thinking this is my uniform right here when I do these videos because that's the same shirt and cap. I just realized I've got I've got two or three of these shirts, and this is my old everyday cap that I wear. So when I'm out on the farm doing stuff, this is what I'm wearing a lot of the times, and I don't mind getting these shirts all nasty and stuff. So anyway, we got a nasty job today, and uh, so what we're doing? There's Tim. Tim, I got I got you on camera. We're gonna do a little video piece on it. So. I'm gonna put it on my YouTube uh, channel. So I'm down here on the creek with Tim. What we've done, Tim had a had a pond dug in here, some deer management, uh, so the deer would have somewhere. We got a, a creek bed here beside it stays dry most of the time during the summer. It depends on how much rain we get, but uh, he wanted the access for the the water for to the water for deer right here. But it's real rocky down in here, and when this was dug out, they were kind of they didn't know if it was gonna hold or not. Well. Had some rain in it. It has not held very well. There's a little bit of water in the bottom, but not much. So we got some old um, silage bag plastic from the neighbors up the road, and we're going. We got a bunch of pieces, and we're a muddy mess. So here's Tim here. So we uh, we're going to line this pond with that. Get it down in there. Overlap it. Put some rocks on it here and there. Dirt here and there where we need it. So, Sam, if you would just give your ideas, kind of like what I already touched on, why you why you've done this. Yeah. So the, these valleys uh, are pretty thick and low, and there's creek bottoms, and the creek doesn't flow that much, but it's nice and cool down here. And obviously, uh, if there was a better source of water, these deer would probably bed more down here in in these valleys here versus different areas. So I wanted to provide. A water source because we have food we have cover but there's lack of water so this was uh, the goal um, priority number one for this year is to get a consistent water source down here that, that the deer know they can get water every day of the year here as Tony said um, not having great success but we're gonna put some liner in it and, uh, and get that turned around and um, create an environment where hopefully these mature deer want to stay all year so. yep Yep, so just this, I uh, just wanted to share this with you. This, uh, use uh, resources that you have a lot of times. And, uh, you know, you could go out and spend a lot of money on one whole great big liner for this. Or, or beg from your neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> or do a little extra work and uh, a little sweat in, in, sweat equity. in stinky silage that we got off this. So anyway, but uh, like I said, we're going to try this overlap this there's some little holes in it here and there but uh i think we'll make it work so i'll set the camera up here as we're working a little bit and uh show you what we're doing and then we'll show you the finished product whenever whenever we get done here in the next six hours hopefully before it rains at noon <laughs> yeah And we can get a few more rocks in there too, weight that down and uh, hold it down a little better. Maybe we should have gotten more of this stuff. Uh... We have to get those holes on the top side. So it's flowing down. Does that make sense? Because if it's just sitting on the bottom, it'll creep through. Yeah. You'll be alright, we can cover it anyway. We're gonna have to cover holes like that anyway, all the way around it. Yeah, I know. Alright, pull that over that way and straighten it out in there. I 
Just leave it right there and let's go uh, working around it. Okay. And once we get a piece over that and up here, then we got a layer. Yep. And this piece has to be layered there. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where I wish I had one of the, that brand new piece. As big as that is, we could have had three pieces like that here. Yeah. You'll put that piece uh, down in here? few more that are Right here. Uh, wherever you need it, middle or out there or whatever. Did this and they had it all done, and they come in and just use the uh, bobcat skid steer and just completely and covered everything with dirt. The whole on it, everything, huh? Yep, it just looked like dirt. I don't know why you do that, really. Probably to the deer to show them what's on the ground, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I 
We're just hoping all the, the water, once this fills, all the water pressure, you know, is just going to hold everything good and tight. And hope, hope. These actually areas where it's cut, I'm going to kind of bend this a little bit and over, over top of it. Yep. Hold it over it. Like that. Put some rocks on there. Of course, there's a hole right there. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take one of the smaller pieces and get over that. We got a small piece here. I'd rather, I'd rather just overlap it as we need to. Yeah, there's like two holes right there. All right, a little bit of progress. We, we uh, ran out of plastic. We're going to see what this does. It's supposed to have some rain coming in, in a couple hours. Tim's going to come in here with the bucket on the tractor and uh, put some dirt around the edges, hold this down. I'll show you what we got so far. It's not real pretty, kind of ugly, but hey, it's, uh, it's free plastic. And uh, we're going to try it, see if it'll hold, at least up to a certain point. And then we'll just kind of, we'll keep going from there as needed. And... You know, keep keep getting plastic in here and uh, have a have a pond in here. So you see what we got there, and just uh, got a little bit of water on top of that plastic to hold that down and the rocks and stuff. So, like I said, he's going to come and cover those edges up, and uh, might get like I said, if we get enough rain on it tonight, I'll come back down here tomorrow see what it looks like. See if it's holding up to this point and uh, just go from there. So, Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? <laughs> this ain't gonna be built in a day either. I tell you what, I don't think there's a dry stitch on either one of us. Uh, I'm wringing wet, but that's good for me. I need to work out, so get ready for Colorado. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.